everybody, welcome back to my vlog. Uh, sorry it's been a while, I just had loads of bits and pieces to do. Uh, look, I thought this might be quite interesting, because, um, I mean, a lot of us are familiar with the Highland power supply, the 0 to 30 volts, 0 to 3 amps um, power supply boards, and how so many of them are fake. Well, not so much fake, but the layout's different. You've got a 90 degree uh, layout positioning of the voltage regulator, the 24 volt regulator, and the high pass filter. Well, I was looking across the internet and I noticed this one being sold in the UK. I'll stick it up on the screen here. And if we just go through here, you can see that it has what seems to be the correct layout. And there's no other boards here depicting the 90 degree layout with the voltage regulator and the pass filter, the, the pass transistor. So I ordered one. It's a little bit more expensive than if you order from you know the, the vendors in other places. And this has come through really quickly. And we're gonna take a quick peek in there now and see if it is actually the board that was that I ordered, which is the one with the regulator and the pass transistor in the face in the same direction. So let me just get rid of that. Oh yes, I mean you can see straight away look. I can see straight away, I don't know if you can see that so well. But I can see straight away that there is Okay, so we're going to get the instructions here. Please install the resistance diodes according to PC. Oh, yeah, of course. The resistances and diodes. Well, the resistors are all right anyway, but, but the diodes, yes, of course. High quality DC regulated power supply whose output voltage is continuously adjustable from 0 to 30 volt. Includes a current limiting circuit which enables output current to be continuously adjustable from 2 milliamp to 3 amp, which is brilliant. Provide current limiting LED, uh, LED display, overload, short circuit protection, easy to install and maintain. Which is absolutely right. If you've got one of these that is not automatically goes in the in the rubbish list now. Let's pull these out and have a quick look. I'm not going to do the build now and test it. Uh, these are the op amps. There's a standard uh, input filter. Sorry about the audio quality as well. Um, I've not quite got everything up and running. Oh yeah, oh that's nice. You don't normally get this sort of thing in with um, with these kits. So that's, well, you know, that's just a nice little DIY maker series. I'm not sure who that's. I wonder if uh, you could go there, because this was actually from a vendor. I wasn't going to say the vendor first, but I'm quite pleased. It seems like it's a good one. Oh, I'm get light on it better. Uh, from Violinisteria? 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 However you would pronounce that. Off eBay. They got back to me straight away when I asked them, is it... Not genuine, but is the layout um, looks a bit different there. Is the layout uh, the way I'd want it, which is this way? So your pass transistor will sit here, and your well, to be honest with you, I put a heat sink on the back of mine, and it covers the entire back area, and then just do some leads off to here with some um, some cabling. But yeah, there it is. So that seems quite promising. What I will do is I will set it all up, not in this video. This is just a quick look at it to see if it is going to be uh, the one. See if there's anything like really that stands out on the board. 
that may make it look like it's uh, it doesn't say Highland on here anywhere, so it's not actually a genuine Highland. They tend to put that on all their things. I've got a, another little power supply here from Highland. What have I done with it now? Okay, I did have another one here, and it just shows that on their on their things they actually um, they put their little uh, their little their name. But that looks like it's in the correct place, which is really helpful because when the um, power supply, when the heat sink sat here, it means that that can go against the heat sink as well, which is quite nice. All right, well, everything else in there looks to be in order the way it would normally be with these things. It's our voltage regulator, there's our pass transistor. Now, let's have a look at this. Now, this is interesting. On the other pass transistors, let's just make sure you can see that. What I noticed was on all the dodgy ones, let me just find one and I'm going to show you. Okay, so here's one that hasn't even been opened yet. Okay, so let's just shift this stuff out of the way. This hasn't even been opened. I didn't see the point in opening it. I could see just by looking in there that it was uh, a dodgy. So let's just pull this open. And you can see, first of all, what I mean about the board. You see the voltage regulator is on the 90 degree to the pass transistor. And so I've, these have all been problem boards to me. There's a slight shade difference which is nice and there are differences in the way that the um, silk screen has been done as you can see these are easier to see than what these are but the main difference is that I'm interested in is that the pass transistor here and this regulator are facing the same way because on all those boards that are like that I've not had a problem with all the boards like this I've had a problem with no what I was saying about the pass transistor here so let me take a peek at that one look and then you look at this one without even taking it out I know what this one's gonna look like and it's gonna look like a dodgy and here's the difference do you see the difference? Is this is almost like it's been cut in to this, but it's just different. This is how the original ones look. Now, I'm not saying that one of these won't work because I actually tried one of these on a genuine board, a working board, and it worked. I'm not saying if it will be as robust as one of these, but all these ones that I've had. I've been fine they've been fine there's a little bit more to these as well they've had these dimple parts cut into them so it looks like there's been more work done but apart from that they look pretty similar don't they but yeah that one seems to be a good one hopefully that's going to be the way it is we keep those out of the way of that because that's just going to be just out of the way now and uh, yeah, we'll give this a go. We'll give this a go and I will get back to you when I've done it. All right, there it goes with that. This one's a bad one. We'll give this a go. <laughs> and I'll get back to you when I've done it. All right, we'll just make sure it's all up and running and uh, doing what it's supposed to do. All right, if you got this far, guys, thanks for watching. Again, if you want to know who that was, it's a violin hysteria. You can get them from the UK, so you guys in the UK are going to be easy for you. Uh, but it's just nice to know that there are some of these now out there on the market. And um, like I say, I'll let you know. I'll get it done over the next couple of days, this particular thing. And uh, I'll let you know if everything's working okay or not. The proof is in the pudding when I come back. And we'll see whether it's uh, a work or not. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.